John again. Back to solving foreclosure problems. And we are working on 35, which is called local bindings. Closure lets you give local names to values using the special let form. Good to know what it's called. I keep using it. I don't know what it's called. A let form. Okay. So, uh, pretty simple. We're going to bind 5. We're going to bind x to the value 5 and then use it. So 2 plus 5 is 7. Here we bind x to 3 and y to 10. So 10 minus 3 is 7. And then next, uh, we bind 21 to x and then uh, we bind again 3 to y and we divide 21 by 3 that gives us 7 so we type in 7 all right uh, that was pretty short let's do another one okay it says can you bind x y and z so that these are all true. So x plus y equals 10, y plus z equals 4, and z equals 1. Oh man, we have a system of three variables and three equations. We're jumping back to linear algebra here. Let's see if we can be smart and do this in our head. Let's see. Uh, okay. Here we just have z and it's 1. So uh, that means we're going to have z is equal to 1. Okay, uh, now we're going to try to figure out y. So we'll jump back up. So we have y plus z equals 4. Given that z equals 1, then we can say that y equals 3. Alright, and now we can move on to the next one where it says x plus y equals 10. We know that y is 3, so that means x should be 7. So the let form, we just have pairs inside this vector. So uh, the pair is e1, y3, and x7. So let's give that a try. And we got that one right as well. So thank you for watching.